Hey, what's up guys welcome back to another update tutorial in this update tutorial i'm going to show you guys how you can create this retro futuristic metallic text so this is easy and let's get started all right guys let's start with the new composition i will go with a uh, 2k resolution okay and you guys can go whatever resolution you guys like and i'm gonna go with this reflection map and this will be our reflection and i'm gonna go with 24 frames per second and 20 seconds as the duration and let's set the resolution full and hit ok all right guys and i toggle this transparent grid you can just on off like that okay and for now let's just turn this off and let's go to project panel as you can see guys i have uh, three assets you guys can download this from the link in the description okay and i have this reflection map so i'm gonna import this just import these files into this uh, project panel and then just drag and drop like that okay and i'm gonna select this and then press s and scale this down a bit like that all right now let's add some effect to this uh, map so i'm gonna go to effect and preset right here if you can't see this you can go to windows uh, and then find this effect and preset menu right here okay and let's search for cc repertoire effect this one and just double click so it will apply to this reflection map and i'm gonna increase the expand right until it fill this uh, composition like that and let's also increase the expand down and expand up like that now you will have this map okay now we need to add some animation to it so to do that we need to add motion dial effect so go let's go to effect and preset or you can just use video copilot fx console okay from now on i will use it so i can speed up my uh, workflow so let's search for motion tile effect like that and just drag and drop and now we can animate the motion tile effect okay so let's go to zero second and create a keyframe for the tile center and then select this reflection map and press u on your keyboard and i'm gonna go to 10 second forward right here and then just drag it like that okay and if you want to loop this out you can go to 10 second and then press in on your keyboard and let's go to zero second and press this take snapshot icon and it will create a, a screenshot and then go to 10 seconds and let's check where we at okay like that and let's just bring right here until we match the, uh, the exact same frame and yeah if you want to loop this out okay oh by the way uh, make sure you are using the motion tile in the top of the stack okay and yeah cc repertoire in the below and motion tile in the top and let's check this out okay we need to create a snapshot again okay let's create a new text snapshot and then go to 10 seconds and let's check yeah okay let's go right here until we match that exact same frame something like that okay this looks good now if you check this i will set the resolution to quarter okay for now and as you can see it's I still loop it and yeah don't worry about these lines when we go to full resolution it will go away okay and let's go to quite okay and perfect now we have this reflection animation now let's add our text so we get create a new composition and i'm gonna call this text placeholder not only text you can place your uh, logo here okay and i'm gonna hit okay and then just bring it here and then let's type our text so i'm gonna call this retro by the way i'm using this overgrow font uh, you guys can download this from in the link in the description and i'm gonna press ctrl or home on my keyboard and use the align it to the center like that all right perfect now we have our text now let's add some effect first off we need to add our new composition this will be our metallic text okay and then i will go with the same setting and hit okay let's bring it here now just drag and drop our text right here and then place a reflection map below of this layer okay now i am just gonna uh fragment this to the text placeholder so use this pick whip and then use the text placeholder as our fragment like that now as you can see now we have this transparency and the text 
with the reflection map now i'm gonna go to 10 second and then press n on my keyboard like that all right cool now we need to add some metallic effect so first up let's go to full resolution now and then search for cc ball action effect like that and i will set the grid space into one as you can see it at that kind of 8 bit effect on the text and it looks cool if you don't like it you can just turn off i think it looks cool okay now i'm gonna add uh, cc glass so let's search for cc glass and then i'm gonna go to surfix and set the uh, my map as text placeholder and then set this to effect and mask and i'm gonna set the softness to 100 like so and then i will keep the i25 for now let's keep it like that and now let's search for cc bubble life effect and let's apply it now as you can see it looks a bit wonky at right now so let's set the bubble as of a text placeholder and set this to reflection map as you can see it will give us this nice looking uh, bevel edges and now i'm gonna set the property to uh, alpha okay now let's set the uh, softness to maybe 10 yeah this looks good and you can also just play with the cutaway effect 30 yeah it's cool all right this is without this bubble life effect and this is with the effect as you can see it looks pretty cool and yeah we are done with the metallic effects now we need to add some uh, 80s retro colors i will i will provide you guys with uh, some gradient map i created uh, using photoshop and you guys can just download this from link in the description okay and i will use this gradient palette too for this tutorial and let's also press s and uncheck this uh, chain icon and then just set it like that okay and i'm gonna set the mood to color we only need color make sure you use this uh, preserve undying transparency toggle okay and as you can see it will give us this transparency like that all right cool now let's toggle this off again and yeah looks pretty cool now if you check this animation as you can see pretty cool and now we need to add some uh layer styles so go to reflection map right click and go to layer styles and i'm gonna so uh, set uh, some other glow so if you see this let me zoom this in like that let's open the other glow as you can see this is a bit slow effect okay and it will give us highlight edges around the text if you open the other glow and we can set the blend mode to uh if i remember correctly i use overlay yeah overlay and we can also increase the opacity to 100 and if you think it's too much you can set this to 85 something like that okay and yeah it's cool and i think you guys can just play with these settings okay you can want noisy uh edge you can increase the noise and it reduce noise like that and yeah i don't think it's cool <laughs> all right pretty cool and okay now let's add some another effect and if you go to layer styles and set the bevel and emboss and this is also a pretty cool effect and open this up and set the style to emboss okay now if you check this out you can see it looks pretty cool and let me on off this layer style look at that it gives that nice looking uh, bevel edges around the text and yeah it's pretty cool you guys can also play with these settings uh, if you want some softness you can increase this up okay but we need this metallic text so i don't think it's a good idea and yeah let's keep it like as it is all right all right we are done with the text now it's time to add some composition right here okay and now let's pre-compose this layer again uh today let's create a new composition and i'm gonna call this metallic text composite this is where we are going to add some background to the text okay let's bring it right here now bring our metallic text right there and as you can see now we have this transparency now we can add some effect 
final uh, effect to this composition all right and i will provide you guys this uh, which i download from the unsplash to scope and and special thanks to uh, mxi art and he provide this image okay and you guys can go to this link and check out his other works okay and i will use this image as my uh background for this text okay and yeah okay let's just import our background right here like that just drag and drop and i will place it in the asset folder and then just drag and drop right here okay as you can see right now it's a bit bright so let's set the s press s and scale it down a bit all right now let's add some curve effect and you guys can just set the curve like this as you can see bit give us this dark line now you can stop here but let me show you cool effect and we can add some glow effect to this uh, metallic text to add that and uh, let's search for glow and you can just play with the glow radius and yeah looks pretty cool now as you can see uh, if you think this highlight is a bit uh, too harsh, you can go to reflection map and then right here, you can add a fast box blur, okay? And then make sure it in the top of the table and then increase it ever so slightly, okay? Something like that and maybe two is good. You can also add some wave effect if you want. You can just select the shape play rectangle tool with the... Uh, white color and then just draw a rectangle like that and just search for wave warp effect and then increase it like that if you check out a retro text they have some kind of wave like this in the text and i think it looks cool and now you can just set this to uh, overlay yeah okay something like that yeah overlay and as you can see it will give us this wave effect and now if you go there you can see that wave right here as you can see and yeah it looks pretty cool now let's go back to composite again and if you think it's too much close too much you can just always reduce it i think ah this looks good this is without and this is with the glow now let's add some noise create new and adjustment layer and let's set this to noise and search for noise hls effect and you can just increase the lightness not too much and let's keep it something around 10. i don't know if you guys see this but it gives us this nice looking grain effect and yeah it looks good now let's create a new and adjustment layer and let's go this sharp and i'm gonna add fast box play and then set this to 0 0.5 like this maybe it's 0 0.2 not too much harsh uh, yeah like this now let's add unsharp mouse and i'm gonna set this to 400 like that it will uh, sharpen up our image as you can see it give that nice looking uh, retro effect and that's basically it let's go to 10 second and then press in and because uh, our loop is 10 seconds and then just you guys if you want you guys just increase the uh scale and yeah let me give that effect let's set this to 70 and then go to 10 seconds and set this to 100 all right it will scale this up real real nicely and that's basically it let me show you the animation there you go guys now you have a real nice looking retro futuristic metallic text and i hope you guys learned something new and as always thank you so much for watching please don't forget to hit that like button in the down below okay really appreciate that and as always thank you so much for all of my patreon supporters you guys are awesome and i will never stop creating new tutorials uh, because of of you guys and yeah i will come back with another after the tutorial okay or maybe blender let's see all right and yeah see you guys soon peace